Thomas, Thomas, the fucking tank engine! Uh, maybe, just maybe, doesn't give a shit. Ah! Surrender! This is Mr. Conductor talking. I know what I'm talking about. Shut up! Is that the best you've got, pussy? Tell him to watch the fuck out! What? was stupid. Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here and welcome to another reaction video. I'm going to try to keep these up because these do pretty damn well. Especially these ones. If you guys don't know, um, I have done for the last few years these reaction videos to a series called George Carlin dubs Thomas the Tank Engine and there's only seven of these available as far as I know. And we are today reacting to the final one, Volume 7. And why are we doing this one in particular? Because these fucking things do gangbusters on my channel. Of all things to get this many views, it's this shit. Not my reviews, not my retrospectives, not my storyline compilations, but these. These are the things you people want. Why? Why are the dumbest things getting views? But this is the final chapter of this series, and I wanted to go out with a bang and, first of all, give you an amazing, funny introduction, but also finally finish this series. Now, I just want to give everybody a heads up on this one, is that after this, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm going to react to any more Thomas stuff, unless it's things like YouTube poops and so on, but... Honestly, if you guys want me to react to more of these, you can go support our Patreon. Just a dollar more will get you early access to all of our content, as well as other special features. And if you donate, I don't know, maybe $10, $15, you can probably get me to react to one of these, because I think I'm done this series at this point. I know they do me views, but this is all I could take. I just want to say thank you for everybody who were watching these things and really getting us up there. We're going to come back with more reaction videos, but this is the one y'all have been waiting for. It's been a while. It's been almost... Oh god, it's been like three or four years since I've done my last one, so I think it's about time we wrap this shit up. So without further ado, let's chug one more time back to Sodor and um, have our childhoods ruined for the last time. Hello, Thomas, whistled Percy. You look splendid. Oh boy. Yes, indeed, boasted Thomas. Blue is the only proper color for an engine. Oh, I don't know. I like my brown paint, said Toby. Bullshit, lion asshole. You love it and you know it. I often wonder why there's no blue food, added Percy. Every other color is well represented in the food kingdom. Blue cheese? Nice try. It's actually white cheese with blue mold. Everyone knows that. And so, I wouldn't want to be any other color either. Well, well, anyway, Huff Thomas, Jesus doesn't really love you. <laughs> blue mold shit because that's fucking disgusting unless it's star wars blue milk which i think they sell at disney but oh that last roast god damn it thomas this is why i love this shit i love this shit so much percy said no more he just grinned at toby you don't like then Jesus. along came sir topham Hatt. my boy the best all the engines on the island of Sodor. He once claimed the most difficult thing he ever did was to take a shit in a phone booth without removing his overcoat. <laughs> oh, why does that visual just look so fucking funny? That's amazing. That which doesn't kill me makes me stronger, smiled Duck. Mm -hmm. the James bustled in. I got something a little more realistic for you. That which doesn't kill me still may sever my spinal cord, crush my rib cage, cave in my skull, and leave me helpless and paralyzed, soaking in a puddle of my own waste. Put that on your t-shirt, touchy-feely new age asshole. You know, 
My boy James ain't wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. I mean, look, what doesn't kill you, it might make you stronger mentally, but physically, you might be fucked. <laughs> God. George took no notice. There was barely room to pass. Attention, assholes. <laughs> to handle. You drive like old people fuck. <laughs> and sloppy. <laughs> Like some assholes causing shit, you can say that you drive like old people. <laughs> God, God, I forgot how funny these are. Where are you going? Asked Percy. Porn shops, crack houses, titty bars, and gangbangs, said Percy's driver. Holy I'm crap. sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. I ain't sticking around this fucking place after hours, I'll tell you that right now. God but damn, Percy. driver, what's wrong with you? Driver him? says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go without my driver, said Toby earnestly. That's I'd true. be frightened. Everybody's a God-fearing, law-abiding asshole now, said Thomas. Relax, enjoy the show, take a fucking chance, put a little fun into your life. Bravo, Thomas. Uh, you are absolutely correct. Um... I agree with that statement. Um, I think a lot of people ever since the uh, pandemic have been very cowardice, very pussified, like their balls have been chopped off. And um, <laughs> y'all don't want to take chances anymore. I take chances. I don't care how much money I spent. I, I, I want to I live. I don't want to survive. I want to live. I want to enjoy things. So later on when I have grandkids or kids, I could be like, let me tell you the story of my adventures. You mean you didn't just stay in the house and get fat and play on Discord, Grandpa? Oh, fuck no. Oh, those are those people. We fucking hate them. Christ. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with that skit. Let's continue. When it was time to leave, the Queen spoke specially to Thomas. Oh, the Queen was in this coaches. episode. This entire country is completely full of shit and always has been, said Thomas. Wow. I think the Queen died with those words. <laughs> oh, God. Driver should be here by now. What's he doing? Drinking beer, taking a shit, and passing out, grunted Gordon. Yep, lazy People player. ask me if I have an email address, and I say www.fuckyou.com at blow me slash up your ass. That's at the top of that. <laughs> That's perfect! I love that! New coaches, not these cattle cars. If you want to express emotion, screaming is where it's at, grunted Gordon. Yeah! That's good. Percy and Duck oh, like no. working at the harbor by the sea. The best thing about living at the seashore is that you only have assholes on three sides of you, sighed Duck. What? The workman gave him some cake. Aww. Please stop fucking with my desserts, said Henry unhappily. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Please don't have sex with your desserts for the love of Christ. You'll never guess what I saw last night. I'm a busy engine. I don't have time for your games. A Boy Scout master who works at a dildo shop. Bertie skidded into the yard. Holy shit, look out, here comes a drunken bus. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> cars will be cars, laughed James. I remember they this won't one. with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. Eat shit, motherfucker. Yep. Another day's rest will do you good, he said. Besides, I've got a surprise for you. For me, sir? How nice, sir. What is it, sir? I'm gonna have my testicles laminated.
just it at the perfect time. Cause you look at this fucker's face. <laughs> He's shocked. He's fucking shocked. <laughs> I'm gonna have my testicles laminated. Oh, oh my stomach. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Christ. Oh, okay. I think we have a winner. That's hilarious. Oh my god. If we hurried across the viaduct, it might collapse, and then you'd have no passengers at all. What would you do then? Smoke a bong full of Fruit Loops and just go back to bed, retorted Thomas. Yep, yeah, that's about it. So Topham had yes! breakfast. Honey, did you fart? Not me. I thought you farted. Not me. Wait a minute, I know. The dog farted. Look at him. Look how guilty he looks. He knows he farted. <laughs> <laughs> The Sir Topham Hat and his wife storyline in these is like the best thing about this series. Like, if you could do dubs like that with just them, I would watch the shit out of it. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. If that's the last one, that's a good way to go out. <laughs> Although I always prefer the one where it's like, listen, cunt, I've had enough of your whining. Like, that's still the best one for me, but that's a good one. Fuss pot, fuss pot, replied <sighs> Falcon. Engines, fuddy daddy, fuddy daddy, fuddy daddy. I really didn't like this one. Yep. I don't like him, fuck you. I'm not just some old fuddy daddy. I'm Trevor. They're going uh, to break me up next week. I love Trevor. What kind of medieval bullshit is that, said Edward. Yeah. Driver says that the person in charge of the mail has complained to Sir Topham Hatt about the delay last night. Why don't we just kill these fucking people, replied Percy. I know, said Thomas. Now they keep fucking when shit up! I saw Sir Topham Hatt. Oh no. Some jokes are funny, but not this one, James. Fuck you, I think it's hilarious. No. The players shouted, but Stepney was still too far away for his driver and fireman to see or the hear. The models are great, I missed the shit. They completely misunderstood. Don't get all excited and start rolling around causing trouble in your electric go-kart and the fuck it is, said the driver. Calm down. <laughs> Working with the fuck? Oh, stop motion. Now you do stop motion? The fact that a lot of people actually like the music automatically means it sucks. <laughs> we shall take away your rail. Oh, I love this one. And leave you here until you're ready to come out of the tunnel. Something I really don't like is that stop action animation junk. Why don't they can that shit? It's fake looking and it detracts from the story. No! Thomas, no! 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 Stop motion's awesome! Why, Sir Topham Hat? Why, Fat Controller? You fat fuck asshole! Stop motion's the shit! Fuck you! And Thomas began to cry. Don't let me hear you crying or I'll come up there and give you something to cry about, said his driver. No whips, no pussies, no softies. Yep. Listen, boys, the fireman called. Here's a song for Percy. Oh, no. Oh, say can oh, you no. see Floggy Bloom Skeldo Frank What? What's so proud what? we what? Clog a drunk slurn clam dung blench. <laughs> That's like a perfect way to end the series. I salute that. that that's fantastic. Oh, God. So that's it for this series, guys. Uh, we've reached the final chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was a fun ride since 2019, actually. Wow, we've been doing this for almost, like, what, five years? That's insane. But, of course, uh, 
just keep watching these videos, keep cycling them around, uh, they really keep the ad revenue up. Uh, support our Patreon if you want us to do more reaction videos on a request. You can also uh, watch our other content. I do a review show, I do all kinds of shit on my channel, but it's really appreciated from our end. So thank you all so much for coming with me on this journey through my childhood being ruined. I've, oh, I was always a fan of Thomas the Tank Engine, who wasn't as a kid, and this was a nice way to end the series. Maybe someday, I might talk about the movie, but it's no guarantees right now. But at the moment, I'm glad to be done with this series. I'm glad to put that final closure and move on. But this is a good time. So until the next video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off saying... Yeah, fuck it. I'll just blow my whistle out of here. Reach for the speed. Reach for the whistle. Go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for